Sauna lovers, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about EMF dangers of home infrared saunas. Let's be clear, there are no dangerous EMFs in any home infrared sauna ever in the history of infrared saunas. No adverse effects have been reported with infrared saunas, and that's from Brett Bauer, MD at the Mayo Clinic. So what is EMF? EMF stands for electromagnetic field. EMF is one of the four fundamental forces of nature. All matter, living or non-living, produces electromagnetic radiation. The various manifestations of electromagnetic radiation share one fundamental property, the electric charge. The electromagnetic spectrum is divided into ionizing and non-ionizing bands based on how the wave interacts with biological tissue. Ionizing bands of EM spectrum are characterized by short wavelengths, very high frequencies, and very high intensities. Ultraviolet light, a sunburn, gamma rays, and x-rays all fall within the ionizing band of the EM spectrum and have the capability to remove electrons from their normal orbit in atoms and molecules which can damage tissue and genetic material. Health hazards related to ionizing EMF are radiation burns. By far the most common health hazard of ionizing radiation is a sunburn, which causes 1 million new skin cancers annually. Many national governments have established safety limits for exposure to these ionizing frequencies of electromagnetic energy based on specific absorption rates to guard against thermal damage or burns. The non-ionizing band of the EM spectrum are characterized by the lack of energy to ionize atoms or molecules. They have longer wavelengths at lower frequencies and intensities. They can be identified as radio waves, microwaves, infrared, and visible light. The portion of the non-ionizing EM spectrum band related to infrared saunas includes appliance, ELF, radio waves, and far infrared. Natural EMFs or ELFs, extremely low frequency radio waves, Bands begin with the low intensity frequency of the human body or the Earth's magnetic field. Both resonate at 10 hertz. The artificial ELFs come from our household appliances at nationally regulated 60 hertz, which is equivalent to 1000 milligauss. What are the health concerns with exposure to EMF in an infrared sauna environment? The mainstream scientific Evidence suggests that low power, low frequency electromagnetic radiation associated with household currents, like that of an infrared sauna, does not constitute a short or long term health hazard. So, mainstream scientific evidence says that far infrared saunas, home appliance is safe and that there are no harmful EMFs. Um, a 2009 study at the University of Basel in Switzerland found that. Intermittent but non-continuous exposure of human cells to a 50 hertz electromagnetic field flux at a density of 1 mt or 10 gauze, which is 10,000 milligauss, induced a slight but significant increase of DNA fragmentation in this comet assay. However, that level of exposure is already above current established safety exposure limits. Um, and to kind of give you an idea, if the federal government or if uh, Switzerland found that when you're exposed to 10 gauze of EMF and our federal government in the United States regulates everything under 1000 milligauss or one gauze and that your home electrical switches emit 70 milligauss of EMF at the light switch up to three feet. And then you look at a home sauna, at least our home saunas, um, the EMF in a home sauna is 10 milligauss at the heater and two milligauss at the bench. And the commercial saunas are uh, 1.6 milligauss at the heater and uh, 0.3 milligauss at the bench. So these are very um, minute numbers in comparison to what is regulated um, and what is known to um, cause DNA fragmentation. All infrared sauna companies utilizing the newest low EMF flexible carbon heating panels are operating with non-ionizing EMF radiation levels of one gauze or less at four centimeters from the heating source at 0.5 hertz at three feet from the power source at a flux density of 0 0.001 MT or less. That is one one thousandth of the recommended safety 
of 10 gauze or 10,000 milligauze and 1 1,000th 1, of the 50 hertz electromagnetic field it takes to increase DNA fragmentation. And all that jargon just basically says that a far infrared sauna does not have the ability um, to change DNA, um, meaning that it's non-ionizing and it is safe. Inside the infrared sauna, we are creating multiple low frequency EM fields that tend to cancel one another. The flexible biophoton nanocarbon infrared heating technology used for home saunas have a patented design that extremely low frequency is canceled out by far infrared EMF and neutralizes the, it, the tissue specific absorption rate of extremely low frequency EMF to impact absorption of the more desirable far infrared EMF tuned to the resonant frequency of the human body. Celebration saunas, biophoton, nanocarbon, infrared heating panels, and systems are provided with a configuration that simplifies the system complexity while also delivering sufficient infrared heat and sufficiently low EM radiation levels at selected wavelengths. Our standard he heaters emit 10 milligauze at 4 centimeters and 2 milligauze at 24 centimeters. Um, and you can see um, our EMF reports and tests um, from links on this website as well, or on this article as well. Um, our ultra low EMF and zero EMF heaters register at 0 0.3 milligauze at 10 centimeters. Um, so it's 1.6 milligauze at the heater, and as you move away 10 centimeters, it drops down immediately um, and then goes to 0 0.3 milligauze. Um, again, you can see those testing reports um, with links on this article. The truth is electromagnetic radiation is a universal language of life. Human beings not only need electromagnetic radiation input from the outside world on an ongoing basis for survival, e.g. visible light for melatonin cycle or UV radiation for vitamin D synthesis, research has demonstrated that every cell in your body also emits EMF. Our bodies produce two types of EMF in the form of electrical charges that control our nervous system, brain and heart and in the form of far infrared or body heat produced in the mitochondria of our cells helping to regulate important functions and keep us healthy. There is no conclusive evidence that EMF causes disease or increases uh, disease risk factors and that is a quote from the Centers of Disease Control. Um, I have put a number of research um, and links to other EMF websites um, giving you both for and against um, so that you have all the information that you need um, to make the decision that's best for you. Uh, the last little study here is in May of 2011, um, the WHO's International Agency for Research on Cancer published a review of the evidence on health risks of electromagnetic fields, concluding that there was inadequate evidence of any health risks posed by EMF. This designation as possibly carcinogenic has often been misrepresented as indicating that some measure of risk has been observed. The designation indicates that the possibility could not be conclusively ruled out using the available data. And can, uh, Health Canada says, there is no conclusive evidence of any harm ca caused by exposures to, electro to electric and magnetic fields at levels found in Canada homes and schools, including those located just outside the boundaries of power line corridors. And again, that's from Health Canada. So that pretty much sums up and gives you all of the information and links that you need to kind of make an educated decision as to whether or not the the zero EMF heaters um, and that technology is important to you. I also welcome you to give us a call. Uh, the best number to reach me is 855-728-6248 and ask for Katie. Thank you so much for, for watching and I'll see you next time.